close to the iron and gold variants that they're used to. And if you want to be extra dubious, then it is always possible to swap out their cores for one that has the same pattern. And that way we can steal both their stats and their status. Finding diamonds in Minecraft should be cause for celebration, but with a setup like this, that excitement is short-lived. See, if you really want to prank your friends on the server, then why not head down to the mines and booby trap the various ores? All it takes is an observer angled the right way, we can use that block update to end their excursion. Really, it's that simple to pull off. And with a quick fuse, there'll be nothing more than a pile of items before they can even finish counting their diamonds. Anyone who's ever tried to escape a cave system that's underneath an ocean knows the pain of this one. Because really, if you want to trigger some frustration amongst your friends, then all you gotta do is just trap them in this short staircase and flow water from the top. Especially if you're playing around in versions before the aquatic update, and they're gonna have to stand on the pressure plate, it only opens once they step off. And as some of us know, this is indistinguishable from a laggy server connection. Meaning they'll be stuck doing this little shuffle back and forth, and they'll never be able to get inside. Now, in most cases, I think the Curse of Binding Enchantment is a pretty lame prank. But where you can really put this to use is by putting the Curse of Binding Enchantment on a carved pumpkin. Yeah, for some reason, Mojang was devious enough to let this work. Meaning that if you use a dispenser to put this on your friend's head, they're never going to be able to get it off. Or rather, they're not going to be able to get it off in any kind of nice fashion. Either they choose to live out life where they're practically blinded, or they're going to have to end themselves pretty quick. And with that, folks, YouTube thinks that you might like this video. So see if they're right, and have a good one, alright? This guy is Steve. Well, that's an iconic enough name to get him into Smash Bros. It turns out, the player didn't always have that moniker. In fact, it wasn't until his first guest appearance in the indie game Super Meat Boy that he was finally called Steve. And by all accounts prior, he was just a nameless figure. If you've ever built a snow goal in Minecraft, you might have Amazon to thank for their inclusion. Let me explain. In this tweet back in September of 2011, Notch explained that because of problems with the Amazon Web Services, or AWS, he got frustrated enough to make the snow mop. And now you can buy snow goal merch on Amazon, so I guess it comes full circle. Over the years, Mojang have made several huge changes to the textures we know, but some old ones stick around as a reference. Take the texture laid out on the bottom of their clothes. And while that might seem like an oversight, the head artist Jasper marked it as intentional on the bug tracker. If you've been in any fandom, you've definitely heard the word Oh no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Here <laughs> Down the oil.
Why'd you do that? There's no way you may fire him. You may fire him. What? Really? Oh my god! What? He's making DD back up, back up, back up, back up. What? Back up, back up, back up. Oh my god, he just destroyed that map. He just completely wrecked it. Oh, 